Hello, this is Craig with Karshalton Advisory, and welcome to the Microsoft Excel Expert Exam Study Guide video walkthrough. So through this process, we want to make sure that you're going to be fluent with all of the advanced Excel techniques required to be able to pass the Excel 2016 Microsoft Excel Expert Exam. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you here is we're going to be working through the documents that are included with the official Microsoft textbook. So I've included a link in the video comments in order that will take you to this page. So this is where you would order the textbook and I'm assuming you already have that. Um, and then uh, so it has a description of the book and we're going to work through the uh, included download files. So in order to get those, you're going to go to the download section on this page and then follow the directions, click download. Now, once you've done that, we're going to start with first section of the first chapter. And what they're asking us to do is open the 11A worksheet. And so I have the directory opened up here. We found our file, and I'm going to double click to open that up. All right, so what they would like us to do is to save this workbook as a template and name it my template. So we are going to do the save as command. And so we can either do that with the mouse through the file menu and then down to save as, or we can use the, the keyboard shortcut, which is shift function F12, excuse me. It is function F12. All right, so the first thing we want to do is change the name and the workbook type. So instead of an Excel workbook, we want to save this as an Excel template. So that option is right here in the middle. OK, and what we're going to do is call it my template. Okay, now I already have a document uh, that's named that, so I'm going to overwrite that, but likely you aren't going to have it. One thing to note here is that the, the file directory is putting this in the custom office templates, and that's actually quite handy, and I'll show you why in just a second here. So we'll click Save. You won't get this message box, but I'm going to say yes. All right, so this is still our original document opened. So what we're going to do is I'm going to close this. I'm going to open up Excel. And what you'll notice here when you open up Excel is a list of all of their pre-made templates. Now, this is what they call the featured templates. If we instead select personal, by saving in the directory that Excel defaulted to, it's put this template in this welcome screen for us to make it easy to find. I'm going to double click or click on this to open it. And here we are back with the template file that, that we made. One thing you'll notice at the top is that this isn't called my template anymore. So they've called this my template one to recognize what's happened with a template is they don't actually open that document. What it does is it automatically opens up a copy of that document for you. So now I can make changes and save this and I don't have to worry about having made any changes to my original workbook. So now that we've done the second tick box here of using the My Template template to create a new Excel workbook, we now want to save this workbook as My Macros and have it in the macro enabled format. So again I'm going to hit uh, function F12 to save as this time, instead of Excel workbook, I'm going to select an Excel macro enabled workbook, which is right up at the top here. So I will click on that. I'm going to change the directory so it goes in with the rest of our files here and into Objective 1. Perfect. So now I'm going to name this my macros and hit save. So you can confirm at the top here that it has been named My Macros. So that does it for the steps for the first section of the Excel Expert Study Guide. And so you can stop the video now and move on to 
too. Uh, but I thought I might take a quick second here and just talk about when you might use templates uh, after you've passed your certification exam. So templates are handy. I can think of two areas where they're especially handy. One is if you do a lot of models that have a similar style or similar layout, you can create one of those as a blank um, model and save it as a template. So then the next time you have to do it, you open it up, it's all there ready to go. I know I've done it myself in the past. And I've seen other uh, analysts where, okay, well, they want to uh, start a new workbook and what they do is they, well, where's the last one I created? So they open that up and then they go through the effort of uh, kind of deleting all of the previous data from whatever it was they're doing before in order to start a new document. So by having a template made up, um, you don't have to worry about doing that every single time. Second thing I like templates for is it's a quick and easy way to give a little bit of protection to the sheets that you have and the workbooks that you've created. So for example, if I had to create something and I, I was going to have a couple other colleagues or maybe my boss was going to be using it as well, uh, typically what I find is they, they go in and they change my original. And then so all of a sudden down the road, the original is, is nothing like how I had left it with them. So by having a template, what happens is when they open it, they get a copy and they're not messing around with the original that we might have prepared for them. Now, this isn't, that isn't a secure option, uh, but it is quick and convenient. Uh, and depending on how the workflow is in your professional environment, that may be sufficient for you. However, later on in the Excel expert training, we're going to be going over some other ways to provide advanced document protection that's above and beyond that. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know what you enjoyed or what you'd like to see different. And we, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.